guys, it's me again as yeah, we're on Venezuela now. As for centuries indigenous people live of Venezuela live by farming, hunting and fishing. But here yeah, by fourteen ninety we met our good friend Christopher Columbus. He became the first European to reach Venezuela. As in a year later, in fourteen ninety nine, Spaniard Spaniard named Alonso de Jeda led another expedition to the area and he called it Venezuela, meaning Little Venice. After seeing huts on stilts, as the Spanish found the first town in Venezuela. In 1521, as they also began importing African slaves, but Venezuela was relatively unimportant to the Spanish. And on the 5th of July 1811, the National Assembly declared Venezuela independent, but was short-lived and after a year the Spanish forces were in control again, as Venezuela was finally liberated by Simon Bolivar in 5th 1821, as at first they were with Colombia, Ecuador and Panama, Panama and all of it in Gran Colombia, but Gran Colombia became Broke up and Venezuela became completely independent by 1830. And during the 19th century, Venezuela was ruled by a military dictator called Cordelos, and the first was Jose Antonio Perez, as he ruled Venezuela until 1848, as Venezuela suffered many civil wars. As General Antonio Guzman Blanco was Cordillo from 1870 to 1888 as he restored order. But in 1902, Venezuela failed to pay interest on loans from Britain, Germany, and Italy as a result. And as a result, they all sent the Navy, kind of like the navies, to kind of block. Venezuelan ports and all that. And by 1940, oil was discovered in Venezuela as it became the most important export. And in 1940, a dictator was overthrown. An interim go government had promised to hold elections as a new constitution was introduced in Venezuela in 1947. Elections were held, however, a coup took place in 1948 as Marco Perez, Marcos Perez Dumin, Jimenez became a dictator of Venezuela, but in turn was overthrown was thrown in 1958. And after 1958, Venezuela did become a democracy, but in 1998 Hugo Chavez was elected president as Chavez introduced a left-wing regime in Venezuela and was re-elected in 2006 as he allied Venezuela with Cuba but he died, unfortunately died in 2013 and was play, replaced by Nicolas Maduro as the population stands around 31 million uh, whereas they heavily rely on revenue from oil but poverty still persists as in 2016, Venezuela suffered a very high inflation and con as the economy contracted, as there was also shortage of consumer goods and medicines, as Venezuela also suffered from a high crime rate, as they suffered from what is known as a brain drain, as many wealthy people have fled abroad. In 2017, there were many protests in Venezuela and as the economic crisis continues, as a and as of twenty eighteen, the uh, population stands at thirty two million. And yeah, there's El Cibon. They also have to con uh, contend with, and uh, uh, and uh, as after assassinating his father, the man was punished for trying to, and when trying to flee, was bitten by a dog, and to conclude the punishment. His grandfather sprayed the wounds with a large amount of hot pepper. As a memory and mention of what happened 
frees people from being attacked by the errant spirit known as uh, Sirbana. As a Sirbana appears to the drunkards in, som in a somber way, as other Inaneros give him the shape to, of a tall, thin man as he wears uh, his hat and attacks the Paradeiros and drunken men, as, a tr as tradition explains that when the Sirbon arrives at a house in the night hours it unloads the sacks and counts the bones one by one and if there is no one who can hear it a family member dies at dawn and they also say that if you listen to the whistles of him nearby he is far away but if you hear him far away he is very close to you kind of thing so yeah that is Venezuela for you and yeah bye for now